Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the Santa Barbara International Film Festival Press Conference. I'm Kathy Chenega Dykes. I'm the CEO of the Santa Barbara Conference and Visitors Bureau and Film Commission. Thank you all for attending, and a special thank you to Hotel Santa Barbara, and particularly Carminia and Nadine Turner. In just a few moments, you'll be hearing from Roger Durling about all of the exciting tributes and movies lined up for this year's incredible festival. But first, everyone still has to eat and drink, right? So this year, the Conference and Visitors Bureau, the Film Festival, the downtown organization have teamed up with 47 of our local restaurants, hotels, and wine tasting bars, and they have all organized special offers for visitors and locals alike that will make this year's film festival experience even more memorable. A perfect Santa Barbara cinematic getaway. In its third year, the Film Feast is a crowd pleaser. Participating restaurants and tasting rooms are offering prefix menus and tastings really geared to that film watcher who's on the go. But there is a twist this year. We've um, created a new theme which is titled Made in Santa Barbara. So you'll find many restaurants offering prefix menus that have been inspired by movies that have made in Santa Barbara, about Santa Barbara, or even the special um, offerings by some of our local celebrities. So now you can go to the Fish Enterprise Company for the Fish Cold Wanda package in honor of John Cleese. Or how about the Endless Bar and Cafe for a tasting menu featuring Bruce Brown. All of the details of this package can be found on our website sbfilmfeast.com or even in this brochure that you can receive on the way out as well too. And we're printing 10,000 of those brochures that will be circulated throughout the community during the festival. And to make it even more convenient, this year we've divided our downtown into four theater districts that include and highlight the nearby participating restaurants to enjoy both before as well as after the movies. Plus anyone who purchases these Film Feast menus are eligible to receive free movie tickets right on the spot. Mae West once said, too much of a good thing can be wonderful. And we venture to guess that she said that when she was in Santa Barbara. When the curtain goes down, the, the show goes on, dinner, drinks, and a movie can take on a whole new meaning. And before you know it, the stars come out and you're among them. And now help me introduce and welcome one of our stars of the Santa Barbara Inter International Film Festival, Roger Derley. Good morning, everybody. Um, uh, I can't believe the turnout um, because Ten years ago, when I took over the film festival, this is my tenth edition of the of the film festival, I, and I can't believe it. Um, you know, we were at a Lincanta hotel, and it was a tiny little turnout, and um, it just reflects our growth in the past ten years. And um, I cannot. Um, stand here without acknowledging the city of Santa Barbara for being so incredibly supportive of, of our growth. And, um, and also my staff, I look around and I look at people like Russ Spencer, um, who's been with me uh, for 10 years, uh, Steve Blaine, uh, my right hand uh, man, uh, my, you know, my manager director who's been with me for 10 years, uh, Carol Marshall, the director of, of PR who's been with us longer than, you know, before I came around and is being supportive. Sean Pratt, um, who uh, volunteered with me at the Metro before I took over the film festival um, more than 10 years ago, um, and so on and so on. Um, and also I have to acknowledge um, uh, my degree who was um, one of my dearest friends and also one of the people that encouraged me so much to take over the film festival and told me that I could do it 
and, um, and was there that first year and made it all um, happen for me. And um, he was a great collaborator, he was a great friend, um, and he loved Santa Barbara and he loved film. And uh, as you know, a year, a year ago, in the, in the middle of the festival, um, uh, we suffered a great loss. And um, it has not been easy, uh, um, and it, 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 it'll, maybe, it'll never get easy, but um, we, we carry his spirit with us. And um, halfway through this year, I found it an inspiration, and the rest of the staff did as well. Um, that his his sp spirit, his legacy, um, became an inspiration, um, and you will see that this festival, this coming edition, is totally um, um, wrapped uh, around, enveloped by uh, the spirit of Mike. Um, and on that note, I want. Um, to bring forward Barbara Boris, who said to, who has to sign the last ten posters of the film festival, and you know, I'm, speaking of collaborators, I always feel that she's like one of the greatest collaborators since we've worked closely for ten years now at, at, with every poster. So let's unveil it, um, and I think it explains it's self-explanatory. Um, this year's poster, and um, it's it's our way to um, acknowledge uh, Mike Degree. Um, so there it is. Uh, the, 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 um, thank you, Barbara. Um, the opening night, as you guys all know, is going to be the U.S. premiere of Disconnect, and is the, the directorial uh, feature film debut of Henry Alex Rubin, who was a documentary filmmaker, and he did uh, Moneyball. Uh, and um, you know, Alexander Skarsgård uh, stars in the f in the film. You know the the. Uh, Vampire Eric from True Blood and Paula Patton and Jason Bateman and they're all going to be here on opening night. Uh, closing night is the U.S. premiere of Wasteland, um, the feature um, uh, debut of Rowan Atale and it's a British film and it's a heist thriller. Um, this year we're going we're to have an international gala. Uh, first time we've done something like this and it's going to be a red carpet. Uh, Pablo Terran's uh, film No, which is shortlisted for Academy Award Best Foreign Film, and it will get nominated for Best Foreign Film. And um, the star of the film, Gael Garcia Bernal, will be here, and um, and we're excited that we're doing that international gala. Um, and as past years, one of the the gems of the festival is Field Trip to the Movies. Um, that was a passion project of my degree where we buzz 5,000 um, uh, uh, kids from Title I schools uh, from all over Santa Barbara, from third school to, I mean, third grade to sixth grade, and they go to the Arlington and learn about movies. Um, so this year, uh, DreamWorks Animation is going to be uh, spurheading that, that uh, master class with students. And um, we actually, in honor of my, our dear friend, we're going to call it Mike's uh, Field Trip to the Movies. And um, uh, it should be quite a fun um, uh, morning, an educational uh, morning for 5,000 uh, young kids. Um, the Virtuosos Award, I have not announced it, so they are Anne Dowd, uh, best, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress Independent Spirit Award for um, Compliance. Um, Elle Fanning, um, the young star, uh, you uh, you've seen movie, her in movies like Super 8, but she did she did a great film this year called Ginger and Rosa. Eddie Redmayne, the, star, the young star of Le Miserable. Um, Omar, Omar Sy, the star of the French foreign film sensation The Untouchables. Um, Ezra Miller, the star of Perks of Being a Wallflower. 
and I'm trying um, to pronounce this name, Kwavanjane Wallace, the young girl, eight years old, who is the star of this un the independent film sensation Beast of, so uh, um, Beast of the Southern Wild. Um, of course, the virtuosos is added to already our mother master, uh, Ben Affleck, uh, the biggest coup ever for the film festival, Daniel Day Lewis. Um, uh, Thank you, somebody back there. <laughs> yes, it was, I'm still relishing that big coup. Um, I can, can I say it again, Daniel Day-Lewis? It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, um, Amy Adams, um, who is three-time Oscar nominee, and she's just sensational in the uh, master. Leah DiCaprio in one of my favorite movies, The Big Box of Sophic Sensation, Django, and of course, Jennifer Lawrence. Um, uh, uh, Team Katniss Everdeen, The Hunger Games, and of course, Silver Linings Playbook. And we're gonna have the usual panels, the writers, directors, producers, the women's panel, um, this year, second time around that we have the acquisitions program. Um, a few films sold last year at the festival um, where we encourage uh, acquisitions and distributors to come into town. So we're going to be hosting them this year as well uh, through the 11 days of the festival. Um, and we're going to have um, the usual film sidebars, including um, uh, Real Nature. We, where we ch showcase um, um, uh, you know, nature films. That was um, our friend Mike Degree's uh, passion. Um, this year we're gonna have a retrospective, of course, of Mike's films in that sidebar. And uh, his colleague, uh, Michael Hammerhan, is going to be leading that. And I thank Michael for um, you know, taking the baton and um, helping us out with, with, the, with the real nature program. Um, sidebars um, that in the past you've known, the independent, the, the Spanish Latin American, the documentaries are still gonna be there, but um, our new colleague, Michael Albright, who's the, he, he's the new programming director of the festival, introduced last year with, uh, with Mickey Dustavish, our programming manager, um, introduced a pretty exciting uh, sidebars like Cinesonic, um, which were films about music, and that is getting expanded this year. Um, called Noah, Meishi Bernstein um, curated last year for the first time films about um, Israel, and uh, and that is it's it's growing even more this year. Um, screen is screen cuisine, which. Um, deals with um, food and wine, and um, and Michael Albright expanded that this year. Now the the big introduction is a sidebar called Pan Asia, which we're going to be shaking. Um, shaking. We're going to be showcasing a lot of films from Asia um, to the max, uh, which is Russ Spencer's Pride and Joy. Um, it's it's getting bigger and brighter. Um, in Warner Archives, which uh, we introduced last year, where we showcase digitally restored masterpieces. And now that I can seg segue to this display here and display out there that you're wondering, what is this? Um, in the past years, um, Britt Jewett, who is around the room, and Studio 7, have always done an installation for us at the opening night, and um, it's always been kept secret uh, up until opening night, but we decided to not be secretive anymore. And um, it, Warner Archives is going to be showing during the festival a digitally remastered version of The Shining, the Stanley Kubrick masterpiece. And we're going to be showing Dial M for Murder in 3D. And we're going to be showing, um, you know, it was originally made in 3D, Dial M for Mur Murder. And we're going to be showing uh, Singing in the Rain, amongst other films. But Brit, um, and his students every year do this amazing installation at opening night 
and um, this year, um, he, this is the the model of what the installation. Um, this is just a teaser um, of what you're going to see at opening night, and um, and and this this hotel is. The Hotel Santa Barbara is the hub of the festival, the 11 days, and what we're going to try to do is bring some of the installations here, and this place will be the Overlook Hotel for the 11 days of the festival. So um, hopefully it won't scare your guests away, Nadine. Um, anyway, thank you so much. There's packets out there with more details about all of the films. It's a it's a great film festival this year. It's probably the biggest, the brightest, and um, I'm pretty proud of it and very excited. And I have to thank my whole staff for making this possible. Thank you. Actually, if I could quickly have programming, um, Meiji, Albright, Mickey Dustovich, uh, Russ Spencer, yeah, everybody come up front with me. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Mickey, Meiji, Albright, Russ Spencer, Michael Hamrahan.